Hey everybody, welcome back. Movie review time. We got about a movie we just saw, and we just saw the Angry Birds movie 2. Yes. So this is going to be our spoilers filled um, review where we geek out about this movie that we loved. Spoiler. Um, it's going to be spoilers. We're going to talk all kinds of spoilers. We might even start right at the very end. So if you don't want anything spoiled for you, you need to get on out of this video and come on back and watch it when you're ready. Mm -hmm. We do have a no spoiler video, which I recommend you watch anyways because it also has more of our thoughts and opinions and we may not retread that information here in this video. I should also know we don't consider ourselves movie reviewers. We're just movie loving geeks that like to talk about movies. So we're, we're typically not super critical unless we are uh, <laughs> uh, but let's see was there anything else I spiel I do before we finish up the spoiler warning we're just giving nah. you time to click out um, okay so there's your spoiler warning here you go spoilers spoilers spoilers, spoilers. spoilers. yeah cuz I actually again had somebody I don't know if they were trolling or what but I had like some angry comment on uh, Secret Life of Pets 2 the spoilers video about how great job you just ruined the movie for my five-year-old with all the spoilers and I'm thinking I don't even feel bad because says spoilers, says spoilers, mm -hmm. says spoilers. We say spoilers. We thoroughly mm -hmm. warn you of spoilers, but you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> so, anyways, all right. So, if, if you let your five-year-old have autoplay, yeah, that's that's you're that's stupid. on you. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. It's like I I, I make this content. This is how Momo happens. No. <laughs> I make content, I make the content I want to make, and it is not my responsibility who enjoys or does not enjoy that content. Um, maybe. Uh, mm -hmm. So, before we jump into the movie movie, let's talk about the short a little bit. Okay. I meant to do that up front at the other, we did it at the end if you didn't hear. But, uh, Hair Love. Mm -hmm. This was awesome. Beautiful, everything about it. But, like, as soon as she... I guess maybe looked at the iPad and like mm -hmm. the mom was like showing the hair. I started figuring out, mm -hmm. well no, I guess when the dad showed up, I realized, mm -hmm. oh wait a minute, mm -hmm. mom's out of the picture, all this kind of stuff. Oh God, mom is dead. We're gonna reveal that mom's dead. Are they going to her grave? Is that why she wants to get Gussie up or whatever? Well, her, her calendar had a heart on it, so that... I know, that's it, the one thing that kept me a little bit, but I'm like, oh, they're gonna do that trope of dead mom pull on your heartstrings or, or maybe I, I, I had a feeling that she was gonna be seeing mom after for the first time in a long time well that's clearly what did end up happening yeah. and I was like is it a strange or what but obviously I guess the mom was going through cancer treatments yeah. which I thought was a beautiful reveal mm -hmm. because apparently for the mom hair was such a big deal you know because she had a whole YouTube mm -hmm. channel about mm -hmm. it tutorials and all that by the way um, side note there is a thing called cold capping so it just if you ever have to go through chemo it's they put a cap on your head and they basically freeze your scalp while you're getting your chemo treatment it keeps the the chemicals and the chemo from actually getting into the follicles and it lets you keep most of your hair hmm. okay. it's uh, available in the US um, but not widely okay all right so good to know go. fun fact total derailment that's fine uh, <laughs> it is a PSA derailment <laughs> fair enough but I did like the subversion of my expectations mm -hmm. I mean, maybe that's just me but that the mom was there and then I liked in the end credits they showed the family mm -hmm. getting happier and growing and it was kind of cute how her hair mm -hmm. was growing back out and all that yeah. to show that she survived because even then I thought are they going to still gut punch mm -hmm. and be like oh then we just get a funeral shot and it's like because you know I mean if the heart things like this they want yeah. to do that to you they want to evoke that emotion but yeah. I'm glad they didn't and, and the kid was cute yeah and I've like never had kids but I, I've seen enough of other people who have kids with that really kinky hair and and the struggle is real yeah yeah I mean I know I didn't know enough people with uh, hair like that to yeah <laughs> to know it's a thing um, but I loved it and I love the relationship it showed between the father and the daughter and like the dad tearing up even a little mm -hmm. bit and how excited he was for everything mm -hmm. that was really really cute the like the comb in the hair and like the hair almost like grabbing the comb and fighting the dad off. I mean things like that. It was great. It was just beautiful mm -hmm. and it was a real fun time. So make sure you check out that short. Also the cat. Oh yeah, the cat. The cat was great, especially in the beginning, the wake up, because that cat just wasn't having it. But she's like, yeah. so that was really cute. Yeah, they got me right away with that. I remember the cat looking at the hair cells going, uh, -uh. Mm -mm. No, 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 and then finally like, I'm not even. I'm just going away. <laughs> so that was cool. But all right, so Angry Birds two. Okay, electric boogaloo. <laughs> I can't help myself. The hatchlings, man. The hatchlings were oh. so awesome. And just, that's where that's where it so got... So it it's, turns out they were aliens. And the <laughs> oh, yeah, we didn't make a spoilers <laughs> joke. Um, yeah, so Angry Birds 3, the aliens are going to <laughs> try to take over all three islands. Actually, um, that could be... It could be, I guess. I'll watch it. As good as this one was. 
But so, but what I, the, where this got its most absurd is probably some of my favorite moment of this, and it's with the hatchlings. Mm -hmm. And it is that, oh no, the eggs are stuck on the cloud, and you're already like, how did the cloud hold the eggs? You're already like, what? And then they do the blow into her mouth, and you're like, what? Because <laughs> she, she balloons up like a cartoon cartoon. I know it's a cartoon, but you know what I mean. I, a I, no, actually, no, even they, before then, it starts out with the, them res rescuing the eggs, and you're like, well, that was easy. It's oh, like, yeah, yeah. Well, I do love that that the running whole gag. thing of going like, that was too easy. That means something else is about to happen. She's like, what are you talking about? Yeah, and then that's how we got up to the cloud. But I mean, when they start blowing into her and she balloons up and it's like, what, what, what? And then they start flying. You're like, what? And then they overshoot it. And then they're all the way in space and you're just, you're going with it now. You're like, oh my God, how far into ridiculousness is this going to go? They're all the way up to like the rings of Saturn, which again, it's like, I don't, okay, whatever. Nope, no logic here. It doesn't need logic. And uh, you know, then of course on the satellite and it unrips and then the fart sound. I think that may have been Voyager. <laughs> Maybe Viger, Viger, yeah, no. um, yeah, Voyager, I guess, yeah. Uh, but that was probably my favorite, most absurd moment and of I this. Love, and I love the reactions of the, the hatchlings themselves. Sometimes, like, are you flipping kidding me? Well, they even did the moment when they like <laughs> censored the one, you know, because they they're like, we finally did it, we got it home, we're back on Bird Beach, and they're like, no, this is Pig Beach. And they just like Pig the Island, truck horn, yeah. and then they had the truck horn. And she's all, like, yeah, and everybody's just like. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> um, so that was great too. But also the other great hatchling moment, which I do think I saw in a trailer, but luckily I forgot and it plays even better in the movie, is the snake and the payoff to that's great. But mm -hmm. the snake when like, they're just looking at the eggs on the sleeping snake and just back and forth and you think, oh God, this is gonna be terrifying and horrible. And it cuts away and you hear all the beat up sounds and they walk out wearing all these snake leather hats and boots and shit. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, that got dark. <laughs> I was like, that is awesome. <laughs> That is so awesome. So I loved that apparently the snake was fine. And they ended up with the snake baby eggs. That was such a great reveal. And of course, you know, I don't know how all that and worked snake, out. Yeah, the snake brought the, the actual bird babies back. Mm -hmm. and I wish. An exchange. And then the bird babies go out to sea again. <laughs> I love that too. The bird, bird babies were like, hi, and like super adorable. <laughs> and the only other thing they said is that they're standing there talking like, oh, we'll never let them out of our sight again. Yep, never let them out of our sight. Oh no. <laughs> bye! <laughs> like just the bye, that was great. Uh, I love when Red, when they got to the ice island and mm -hmm. they're all doing the uh, turn down for what sequence, mm -hmm. which was just stupid, funny, awesome. And I love the way Red falls down face first because mm -hmm. that doesn't remind you of that video in the kid that we always, in the minion costume, and we're always uh, like, Bam okay! Bam okay! Bam okay! <laughs> That's why I was just waiting for that. So that was a fun little touch. Uh, I loved Red and uh, Chuck's sister. Well, you knew her name, but Silver. I, Silver. I liked that. You knew you knew the tropes. You knew it was going to happen, but it was still a fun ride mm -hmm. to go on. And I liked the way it paid off. Paid off. Uh, oh my God, the dance off in the bird suit. <laughs> How cool is that? Especially when like the Eagles have such this. They're so into their choreographed routine that the whole bird suit ripped off, and they don't know. <laughs> they don't even notice them walk away. Just slowly back away. The bathroom sequence. <laughs> <laughs> I like a bit of insanity. I, like, I, I, I almost like I would never do this. If you've been around my channel, you know I am adamantly against any kind of piracy. But I want to watch that scene again so bad right now. It's like I wish I had a copy. <laughs> you know, now, it's just that scene alone. Do you remember and the way that Chuck looks like a, I mean, he's coming out of the suit like he's, you know, he's he's the genitals. I mean, he's like. What? Do you remember uh, AGT last season? The guys with the the, the squirt, sp spit water out their mouths like fountains. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember. I, I was just like, I kind of like, was any of that inspired? <laughs> okay, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, and he starts doing like the sprinkler with it. Yeah, and then like the water he's spitting out is like flying. <laughs> And the, and the eagle's profoundly disturbed he by is, all this. Is, and then how, the, how he had the crap, he had the life beaten out of him. I mean, he wasn't, obviously, but just all those hits he took, you felt those hits, uh -huh. like, into the sink and into the urine of, like, everything. Okay, like, there, there is something whew. about, like, a bathroom fight scene that always feels extra brutal. This whole thing was influenced by Mission Impossible Fallout. Because <laughs> I guess between like the glass mirrors and the porcelain sinks and yeah. you, you know the you know toilets and such, you're like, it, there's just nothing good to fall against in a bathroom fight. Yeah, that is true. Um, oh. Of course, my favorite thing. Hold on, 
I want, just real quick because I want to comment on that. I mean, my favorite thing, uh -huh. um, making money. We'll be right back. And we're back. All right, your favorite thing. Sorry, I had to do it. So we were talking about uh, the, the bathroom fight scene. And you remember Mission Impossible where, you know, uh, Superman... I remember. <laughs> oh, the cocks his arms. This, this has my next, my, my new favorite cocking, which is the eagle that can cock his abs. <laughs> yeah, and again, I'm with you. My brain immediately thought of Mission Impossible as well. It's like, this is the new Cavill reloading the, the fists. Cavill, it's, like, it's Superman. I was like, <laughs> yeah, he is. Well, he was Superman. Um, but yeah, no, but yeah, that was great too, and they kept coming say, back to how it. How many abs? Th I need a freeze frame just to count how many abs are actually there, because it's really like a 24 pack. I was going to say, I think it was a 24 pack, yeah. That was awesome. Um, Leslie Jones was awesome, Tiffany Haddish. The reveal that that was the daughter uh, with the eagle, that was great. I, you know, I honestly think Didn't that, catch that... that was great. Yeah, it was. Um, the... Uh, with, again with the abs thing, mm -hmm. I, I I can see the amateurs going like, let's draw this guy with abs. And it's going like, oh, if you, <laughs> if we do a six pack, they're like huge individually until, until we get the, the what, what if we made them all? Some, hell, we're gonna go with that. Just make it all. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it didn't look right just having it on part of his torso. Too much empty torso. So yeah. like, just add more. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, Red eating the popcorn out of his mouth was one of the things I was referring to and the mm -hmm. other thing too. That was, and pouring the butter though in his mouth and the salt. Eating the popcorn out of his mouth. You mean having popcorn pop directly into his mouth. Yeah, that then... was that was awesome though. And then when the pig guy is eating it Yeah, too, Leonard was just Leonard. tied up on the floor and just going like, oh, popcorn. And I mean, it's like just little touches like that that made this so fun because everywhere you look, there was an awesome little joke. Yeah. And again, I talked about the pacing. And I almost, and this is not a complaint, in a lot of movies this would be a complaint, but it, everything works so well here that it's not a complaint. But I was kind of almost wondering, was this movie longer? And somebody came in and said, let's tighten that up. Let's get it really tight. So it's just joke, 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 joke. And then they're like, oh, but the movie's like 20 minutes short of being feature length. Hey, let's do this whole side adventure with the hatchlings. <laughs> and I thought, and then we'll just put that in there. And it's like, you could kind of feel that way. But then the hatchlings, it does tie together. It did yeah. actually, which you, that still could be the case, but again, and I wouldn't have complained about it even if it hadn't tied together. But yeah, they tied together, they set mm -hmm. up that super string and everything so well. So I thought that was really cute. Although I do gotta point out um, a problem. They did that big statue of all the people involved mm -hmm. in saving the day, even the little hatchlings. Uh -huh. They didn't include the baby pigs. Uh. They got left out of that statue and they, they helped every bit as much as the hatchlings did. <laughs> You know? Oops. Yeah, I know, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. They're, they're species, you know. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Leslie Jones was really good in this, too, I thought. See, I, I thought Leslie Jones was Tina Haddish. Tiffany Haddish. The, their voices are the same. Their voices, are, especially in this movie, feel very same. Yeah. Because um, once the daughter started talking, I was like, wait, no, that's Tiffany Haddish. Well, wait, is Tiffany Haddish playing both? Because we didn't know his daughter. Right. So I was with you, and then that's why I was like, oh, Leslie Jones, okay. Yeah, they're in, then thinking well, back, I'm so, like, so, so, so. well, as soon as we said that, I think his name was Doris, uh, was her daughter, is it like, yeah, the daughter. Uh, <laughs> I, I was like, oh, so it is the same person. <laughs> <laughs> right, like, I mean, it, it could have been. And maybe that was a thing they were doing, too. They might have been even trying to go for it. But they both do that similar kind of style of mm -hmm. um, that character, so. Yeah. But that was cool. Uh, I really do love all the eagles, though, on Eagle Island. They were just so buffoonery. And again, the subversion of expectations. Bomb, he's going to take them all out. Take them out, Bomb, take them out. Uh, take them out for drinks and fun and music. <laughs> like, I was, oh. Did not see that coming. That was yeah. great. Which led to the other thing we did not see coming that I mentioned in the non-spoiler. You ready? Hold on. I'm oh gonna God. ruin some of y'all's days with this. Baby shark do 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 do. Baby shark do 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 do. Baby shark do 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 do. Baby shark. Made uh. all the more funny because, well, I'll just tell you here. I don't care. Well, shouldn't. I'll just say we've been talking about that song. I can't. I can't tell you why. Some of you'll figure it out, um, but don't get too excited. It may not happen. But uh, <laughs> we've been talking about that song recently, and I've been listening to that song. So, <laughs> so just to have it randomly pop up in this movie that doesn't seem like it should be in there at all was awesome. It made that joke even funnier to me. Yeah. And now I can't start stop singing. Cobra la 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 cobra la 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 cobra la 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 cobra la. 
That was G.I. Joe the movie? Animated? Yep. yep. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. She's marrying me. She's a geek, too. <laughs> um, Because I'm not a dork. I'm either a nerd or a geek. I can't. Jonah Ray said I am not a dork. So. Okay. Yeah. I told you about that, didn't I? You did. Okay. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm not telling you all about it. You should get on my Twitter. Damn. No. Uh, so what else? I, there's, there's so much great stuff in this movie, though. I'm just trying um, to think of some other beats I really want to mention. Uh, uh, so yeah, the hatchlings, of course. I think we ran uh, through almost I, the I, entire I, hatchling story. Yeah, I think we did. <laughs> just because that was so good. Um, bum, the, the speed dating. Oh, the speed dating. Yeah. That was cute. I would have liked to have seen that gone on more. I would have liked to just, it was fine what they had. It was just such a cool premise to see all that. It would have been fun to get more jokes. So maybe there's an extended version on the DVD or something. Mm -hmm. That would be fun. Um, um, oh, Chuck not wanting to have Red and Silver get together. Yeah. That I don't think he gag. wants his sister to get with anybody. Well, yeah, it was that thing. It's that old kind of trope. But again, it's it's a lot of tropes. He's, it's he's a lot got, of things he's seen, got but, a little sister complex. Yeah, but it's like, but every one of these things that we have seen before or whatever were so just perfectly done in this and used just right that I, you know, you can't really complain about any of that because it lands. Everything lands. And just laughing out loud and a lot of like, oh my, so, you know, like there's so yeah. much good stuff in there. So. Oh, God. Uh, Go ahead. I, I guess. I think so. In the uh, in the non spoiler, we mentioned like the, there's not a whole lot of gross out humor. But okay, we're going the, the same. We're going the same thing. place. Okay. <laughs> so in the last movie was was the the, the mighty eagle uh, peeing, peeing in the, the, okay. the sacred lake yeah, thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this movie, it's uh, they're showing off all the new high tech gadgets, and they're going like and, and uh, is it Chuck? Is it Chuck? Absolutely. Well, Chuck and Bomb. Chuck and Bomb. We're eating the snot. Yeah, yeah. They go like they're playing with this goop and peeing all over themselves. It's like this feels weird and great. It's just like that's our new high tech fire retardant. We call it pig snot. Yeah, and then <laughs> what's it made out of? Well, it's called pig snot. And he actually eats it, and then he's swimming in it and drinking it later. Yeah, it is. Um, I was thinking more of the gross out stuff. Things like. Um, with Robert, when Chuck first shows up with Robert, and he uses his super speed to like, he, he first they reveal he drew a mass mustache on his face. That's not gross out well, humor. But then it cuts around to his backside, and he had drawn a whole bunch of stuff on his backside, including turning his butt into like a face that had like a tongue sticking out of his butt crack. Which then also leads to them in the hot tub later, and he's got like the speedo mm -hmm. thong on and the little tail coming out of the butt crack. I, get, I don't think that qualifies as gross out humor. Yeah, okay, fair enough, but that's where I wanted to go, so that's what I was talking about. Yeah. No, the gross out humor in here was the snot and uh, the peeing in the bathroom, but I don't yeah. think that would be necessarily more, that much more anyways in the I, first I'd one. I'd say it wasn't that much. Okay, I was agreeing. That, that, <laughs> then I was agreeing. I don't, you know, I don't listen, I just talk. I don't even he listen really to myself. I don't even listen to myself, so I mean, in all fairness, <laughs> right? Like, I mean, I'll be like, wait, did I already say that? <laughs> yeah, she already said that. Because um, yes. I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but I don't even listen to myself. Um, wait, did I already say that? <laughs> oh, um, but no, I did. I loved all that stuff with Robert. That was really cute too. Uh, Aquafina, I guess, as the little one didn't the, have a the, lot the, to do. The girl but, pig. Yeah, with the headphones. I mean, yeah. she had important parts, but yeah can't think of anything to stand out with her uh, but yeah Chuck with the super speed riding that was good there was a uh, Gary who the Sterling came around yeah I, th okay. I thought I was okay. thinking it was Idris Elba but I was completely wrong that makes more sense but um, yeah again a good character I'm mean, nothing mm -hmm. wrong with him just not as stand out as the rest of the characters but mm -hmm. not everybody gets to be the total standout here I couldn't tell if they were going for it was almost like if Gary Oldman was cosplaying as the dude a pig version of Gary Oldman was cosplaying as the dude who was their uh, version uh, of Q. Uh, I mean, because the, the outfit gave yeah. me the dude, you know, but I don't know. Yeah. I got a Gary Oldman but, vibe out of yeah, it. Very, very, I, I am not impressed with you British vibe with combined with the dude's fashion sense. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and I mean, you know, it's all about teamwork. That's what this movie was about. I appreciate that. We all need to come together right now. Sometimes you have to let other people help you out. What? <laughs> Was that did it, was that in the movie? Yes. Huh. <laughs> uh, I don't even listen to myself. Wait, did I say that already? <laughs> all right, all right. This is before the beatings get real. <laughs> ah, no. Um, yeah, I think we did a pretty good job covering it. I love the new system of travel. Everybody's using mm -hmm. the slingshots in the beginning. That was yeah. really cute. Just seeing a little bit of that. And that's the thing. I mean, and they left me. 
that's what works so well about this movie. They gave me a lot of great stuff, and every bit of it left me wanting more of it. Mm -hmm. You know, because a lot of things, and I'll do this with the music. My theory with songwriting was always, if I feel satisfied with listening to a song, it's too long. It needs to be like a verse and a chorus shorter. Because I want, at the end of a song, I want you to be like, I need to hear that again. I didn't get enough of it. And that's kind of what this movie did. Like, they had all these great jokes. But like, with the with the slingshots and with even the bathroom stuff, and I wanted more of all of it. They gave me mm -hmm. just enough to want more and to go rewatch it again and again. So that's probably where this movie works its best mm. for me. Um, you know, because it wasn't like, here's, here's exactly the amount you want, you're satisfied, you move on, and you don't need any more. It was just shy of satisfying so you want more and in the best way not like it's not saying that as a negative thing so yeah check out angry birds 2 i give it this many fingers each one of those counts is more you have to do the add the addition the math i'm gonna go home and do the math and put up graphics and <laughs> uh-huh couldn't even finish that all right <laughs> anything else Oh, Jesus. I think, no, I mean, I'm ready to wrap up, so I just yeah, see I if you got anything else. Yeah, I think we most everything. Okay. All right, well, let us know. This is the spoiler video. What's your favorite part? What was your favorite thing? What do you want to see in a third movie? Who's your favorite character? How much do you love those hatchlings? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Whatever. We'd like to hear what you have to say. So comment below. Let us know. I got some um, barbecue, no, bacon oh, when I, chips to eat. Did you? We did mention the seal and the pup. Puppy. How do we not mention the seal and the puppy? Yeah, I could do shorts of those too. That was adorable. <laughs> Even the seal, just the way the seal always just kind of winked and moved and was taking the food. That was a great running gag. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I would like to see an extended short of the seal and the puppy. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. There's so it's such a dense film of stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I the, get it. The, the 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 actually the dog gives me sort of uh, that uh, vibe of. Uh, from Ice Age, the the squirrel okay, and, and the uh, acorn. Yeah, acorn, yeah. Except his thing is, rather than chasing after acorn, he's just going, like, I'm finally free of my, uh, I'm frozen again. Yeah, yeah, that was cute. That was cute. But yeah, so let us know. Click the thumbs up button. Give us the good old thumb of encouragement, as we do love to be encouraged. Now we're going to get out of here so we can go watch some more stuff. We'll see you all. And eat some chips. We'll see you all <laughs> later. Oh my god. Oh my god, I forgot to mention um, the mime and the box saving him from the lava. And he's like, oh, it worked. That was great. Okay, later. Yeah. <laughs>